Let's take a look at graphing relationships. Remember that graphs are just a picture and a picture that can help us to understand a little bit the interaction between two different quantities. As one changes, what happens to the other? So for this, we're going to take a look at some graphs and see if we can't come up with a situation that would fit those graphs. And then we're going to look at a situation and see if we can't come up with a graph. So let's take a look at these graphs first of all. The first thing that we want to notice is the labels that are on each of the axes for our graph. In this case, we have time and temperature. Now, also remember, as we move on the horizontal axis from left to right, the value is going up. So in this case, as we go from left to right, more time has gone by. Time continues to pass as we go to the right. In this case, with the temperature, as we go up, well, the temperature is going up. That value is going up. So, let's take a look here and see if we can't come up with a little story for what's happening. First of all, let's just kind of start and go from left to right here. The temperature begins right here, and then what happens? Well, as time passes, so right here, time is passing by, what's happening to the temperature? Well, the line is going down, so that means if I look like right here, for example, the temperature is lower than it started. So the temperature is going down, temperature is going down, temperature is going down, until we get to here. Then something else happens. Notice that the line flattens out, it's horizontal. Well, what's happening there? Well, the temperature is staying the same over a period of time. So at this time the temperature is that value, at this time the temperature is that value, at this time the temperature is that value. Now, don't be thrown off not having the labels there in terms of numerical values. These things we're just looking at in sort of general terms. What's happening? Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it staying the same? What's happening? We don't necessarily need those numerical values to look at these things in general. So, maybe a story that we could say for this one might be something like this. The temperature falls in the evening, so it's going down as time passes by and remains constant overnight. Let's take a look at the second one then here. Again, the first thing that we want to do is recognize the labels. Well, again, we have time. And then here on the vertical axis, we have the distance from home. Okay, well, hmm, let's see. We start out, and at this point, we're down here, and what's our distance from home? Well, zero. It means we're starting from home. Then time's going by, and kind of slowly, we're getting further from home, so not moving very quickly because we can tell that because quite a bit of time has gone by and our distance from home is just a little bit away. We're just a little bit up here. Then notice what happens. Whoop, it goes up quicker. Notice that we get way further away from home in this stretch. Okay, the amount of time was maybe a touch more, but similar to this amount of time. But notice how much further away from home we are at that point. Then finally, notice what happens. The distance from home doesn't change. It stays the same right there. So they must have gotten somewhere and stayed there. So here's an example of a story that we might use there. Okay, A person walks to the bus stop. So here, they're getting further from home, but not terribly fast, so maybe walking. Then from their house because they were at home then they ride the bus somewhere okay moving quicker because it's that amount of time notice the distance and then they get to the mall and then they shop at the mall for a while so that's where they stay the same distance from home because they're staying in the same place okay let's take a look at these next two and we'll read and see if we could come up with a graph So, for this first one, it says a car starts driving down the street. 
They slow down and stop at a corner before returning to the speed limit on the road and driving for a time. Okay, so, well, what two pieces of information do we have going on here? Or what two values are we going to be working with for our axes? Well, we have time, because time's going by as we drive, and it also talks about the speed. They slow down and then they drive at the speed limit so we're dealing with the speed and the time so let's just see if we can't sketch a little graph here about what's going on so we'll make the horizontal axis the time and then we'll make the vertical axis here the speed and let me see if I can sketch this in here so we have the speed Okay, so let's kind of read through the story and see if we can figure out what's going on. All right, it says a car starts driving down the street. Well, when it starts, what's the car's speed? Probably zero, based on what it's saying there. Okay, so they're driving down the street. So what's going to happen as they start driving? Well, time's going to go by. So we're going to go this direction. And what's going to happen to the speed? Well, I think the speed's probably going to go up. So maybe something like this okay so they start driving down the street then they slow down and stop at a corner okay so time's gonna pass by and they're gonna slow down so the speed goes down and they stop so the speed goes all the way down to zero again then they return to the speed limit on the road and drive so Let's assume that they went the speed limit here. The story's not 100% clear, but we can kind of think that. We go up because we're returning to the speed limit, and then they're going to drive. So this part right here will be horizontal until they either speed up or slow down again. So maybe they set the cruise control there, and they're going to drive that speed until they turn or come to a stop. So let's just read through the situation again, make sure this makes sense car starts driving down the street so they were stopped they're gonna start driving so they speed up then they slow down and stop at a corner so we slow down all the way to a stop then they return to a, the speed limit and then drive for a while noticing again the speed and the time and a little picture to show that situation alright then let's take a look at this one right here and this one it asks us to graph two different things so we're looking at one situation but we're gonna look at it in two different ways so it says a child goes down the slide at a park okay we want to graph the height and the time and the speed and the time alright so let's take the height and the time first okay so going down the slide so where do we start with the slide well we're up at the top of the slide okay and then as time goes by what happens when you go down the slide okay well their heights gonna get lower until what until they get to the bottom of the slide right something like that So we have the height and the time as the time goes by we get lower and lower until we're at the bottom of the slide okay well what about if we graph the speed and time okay well let's see here time we'll put that still on the horizontal axis here and then we have the speed okay well how fast are we going at the top of the slide we're not going at all because you get to the top of the slide you sit down before you push off to head down the slide so at first as we start our speed is zero and what happens as we go down the slide well we speed up speed up speed up until we get toward the bottom and most slides we have a little sorta runway at the bottom to slow you down a little bit so we sm hit a maximum speed and then we slow down until all of a sudden we get to the end of the slide and we stop okay so notice for the same situation if we look at two different things whether it's the height and time 
or speed and time, our graphs can look very different. So it's very, very important to be aware of those labels. All right, so to look at graphing relationships, we're looking in general terms, remembering that as we move to the right, the value goes up, and as we move up, the value moves up. Okay, and then we look at what's going on with the graph and see if we can't come up with a situation for that, remembering something's staying the same if it's a, a horizontal line. We could also see a vertical line as well if there was a big change, for example, without any time going by. If they just went like teleported somewhere, that would be a vertical line. And we could also look at situations where we have to come up with a graph and thinking about how the things change in relation to each other. I hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.